Look at that, a late night print session complete, a hopeful practical print, and I wanna take you along for the ride to see if it works. Are you ready? Let's do this! A portion of this episode is sponsored by Thangs. Head to thangs.com or stick around and find out more. There you are, welcome back. Yes, a practical print. This is what's referred to as well, it's got a couple names, really. There's the Kyle Cup, there's the Chad Chalice, and then there's the, my favorite, the Stimulant Star. <laughs> These are designed by TikTok user Mandic Really. Uh, his name is Alan Mandic, and actually one of the coolest TikTok creators I know. But more importantly is this print done, I believe, at two o'clock in the morning. What? Yeah, it was late and I'm always trying to film stuff. Every time I'm printing something, I'm trying to get some footage of it printing or uh, I, I try to find decent angles, you know, stuff we can showcase here on the channel. Uh, when it's two o'clock in the morning though, words are said. And so uh, I wanna take you through that footage so we can see how well this printed. This is a mistake. Anyway, uh, let me get out my laptop. We're gonna get everything connected and then we're going to experience together Late night Joel. A few moments later. The laptop is set up. We've got the HDMI cable connected to the monitor that we never used until now, really. Just remember, this is late at night. And so it begins. I need to remember to narrate things in that late night voice, that two o'clock in the morning voice. You know, it's like, <clears throat> hey kids, brush your teeth. Hey Sean, do you want to get lunch? Yes. Two o'clock in the morning decision made possible by 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. One day I'm gonna own a t-shirt that says late night decisions made possible by 0 0.2 millimeter layers. I know it's gonna happen. That's a support raft right there. Ooh, look at that zoom. That's so the supports have something to sit on that has a large base to keep it attached to the build plate. That's great, late night Joel. A support raft is something that lays down just to keep the supports adhered to the build blade. Typically when you have supports, it's just one line width. So it doesn't have as much adherence to the build plate as you know something that has a bottom layer. So something like this is going to give, in effect, a bottom layer to a support structure. And it's, it's really cool. And I'm really happy late night Joel recognized that. So at this point, we're good. The the truth. Moment of truth. What are you talking about, Late Night Joel? We just saw it lay down. Everything's Look looking better. really, really good. I think he may have gotten confused. But look at that. All of the lines are being laid down properly. Yes, yes, yes. Don't do that. There is one more thing I remember filming, and so let's let's get to that part. What do we got a picture there? Ooh la la. You do certain things in the morning that you're not proud of. <laughs> There's a point in this where the handle attaches to the rest of the cup, or the chalice, or the this stein. This part, right here. This part. That might part. Be a problem. No, it's not going to be a problem. What are you talking about? It's got a bridge. I think. I think we're going to see it right here. We are so close. So close. This is it. We're actually going to see the bridging happen. The bridging so, so close. of the handle for the Chad chalice, the Kyle cup, the so stimulant close. stein. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, layer ickiness right there. That might be something I have to investigate, and I hope it doesn't get in the way of this being used. Is this it? Is this? Oh, look at that. Ooh, did you see that? So close. So close. The anticipation is killing me, honestly. I mean, I, I know the outcome. This might be it. This might be it. Oh, yeah! yeah! Yeah, let's go! Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Look at that. Look at that. Now it's got to fill it in. What? Okay, okay. What, what? There we go. Okay. Back and forth. I see. Back and forth. Not bad. Okay. So then the next pass Let's over it. Oh, I got a little bit more here. Let's fast forward to that next pass. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Look at that. Perfect. Epic. And it's actually this, this spot. It's this spot right here. And if I uh, feel it, it doesn't feel 
jaggedy, it feels nice, smooth. Late Night Joel did a fantastic job, and now it's time to test whether or not the Kyle Cup, the Chad Chalice, or the Stimulus Star actually hold a monster beverage. That's the important part. The Prusa Mini does have a removable, flexible build plate, so it should really be nothing to get this off. That was it. I know it has the logo cut out for the monster thing up front. I, I don't think it's gonna match it, but I don't think that's going to affect the flavor. Here we go. <sighs> Look at that. I wonder if I can get it out. Oh wait, there is a hole in the bottom, so you can push it out. And then I can reposition it so the drinking spout is right here. Actually, it fits my hand. This is fantastic. The final test. Let's launch it. That's sweet. <laughs> it tastes like pineapple juice got in a fight with a tropical starburst. And the, the, the result of that fight was that flavor. Actually, I'm, a, I'm okay with this. Look at that though. That's cool, right? This was fun. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey. And the thing I wanna talk about with TikTok, here's where it gets really interesting. So this is from TikTok user Mandic Really. I'll actually put them up on screen so you can see them. Like I said, this was designed by Alan Mandic, Mandic Really, on the TikTok. And he, with 170,000 followers. There's been a development and I have to tell you about it. And so Alan's TikTok, Mandic Really, somehow got permanently banned from the app. We don't know why but now he is using his backup account <laughs> as his main account. And so if you could do me a favor and do Alan a favor, go follow him. He is at Hot Rod Hippie, Hot Rod Hippie on TikTok. And um, he's at 11.7 thousand followers now. So let's get him up to 12. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. He does a lot of 3D printing content. He does streams where he designs things over on Twitch. He also goes by Hot Rod Hippie and he does car restoration things. He's just a really fun creator to follow and I would highly suggest you give him a look. Cheers. All designs are available now for free download on thangs.com. I don't know what to do with my hands. At the end of the day, um, you know, you gotta be happy. That was great, Alan. Thanks for showing me all those models. I'm glad you could hold them all in your hands. But one of the things I wanna talk about is Thangs, our sponsor. They have 2.3 million models indexed on their site right now. Plus, what's really cool, all of those models can be viewed via augmented reality. And what I'm looking at right now on my phone are two of Alan's grenade cups or rocket cups. Yeah, you can see Sean. There's Sean filming. And these, these cups are sitting on the table uh, you can rotate them, you can make them, <laughs> you, could, you could make them a lot bigger, you could move them around, you can move them up and down. This is cool. It also means that um, you can go bigger and for that we gotta go outside. Augmented reality works outdoors as well. You just have to find a surface and here are the stimulant steins on the concrete right here. And if I back up, they're small, but then, then I can make them huge. Go. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. They're huge. <laughs> There's huge stimulant steins in, in the parking lot. <laughs> so that's cool. Augmented reality within the Thangs interface. Just use your mobile phone to get there. Honestly, though, this is cool. Pretend digital. It looks really neat in augmented reality, but if you print stuff out, Thangs now allows you to actually take a photo of it. So print it, you know, show it digitally, make it really big, print it at home, take a picture of it, and then upload it to Thangs, and then you're good to go. I'm gonna play around with this more. This is so cool! Thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Links will be down in the description. And um, find yourself a refreshing beverage that fits a 3D print, and then enjoy it on a nice sunny day. Don't forget to hug each other more. And as always, <laughs> I'm gonna put it down, high five.